Hey guys, we're driving to Oshkosh right now, and there is an airplane museum down there, a huge one. We're going to check out the EAA Air Venture Museum. They have a giant air show there throughout the year. They bring in like 2,000 planes. But we're not going during the air show time. Uh, Oshkosh is on a giant lake, so we might check that out, get some time lapse. We might eat at some ice cream and buy some new shoes also. And then we might have to Green Bay a lot in a day, guys. Hey guys, I'm here at the Airplane Museum in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And just based on the looks of this place, it is humongous. So they have every sort of museum, every uh, plane from World War II to today that's to Rakuza Spirit of St. Louis. So there's all sorts of things. We'll head down there. But I'm going to insert a little overview real quick for you guys to see. Space you know, if you've got a pencil or a pen or a camera or something that's not tied down, it's going to be floating around. And uh, it was a lot of fun for me because I uh, I wanted to be able to show my friends and family. Hey guys, I'm just trying this out. So when you spin this, it makes us turn faster because this relays energy into that spinning point, which makes us all spin faster. So I, I spin really easily too. It's not very tough. You can see G force goes up because as you're being pushed against something, the G force increases. Uh, so yeah, 50, about 5,000 pounds of force in your fingers at 32 miles an hour. So if there were 60, 60, you have 10,000 pounds of force. Just a little bit of science. But... So guys, if you zoom in on this, what this is, is it's a super magnet. Each one of these little ball things is a magnet. It cleans, to get, cleans together to form a bigger magnet. So I'm going to bring this down so that it'll be stronger. As you can see, it's coming up toward the now. If I spin this, it goes up. And you can see that it is indeed expanding and compressing. Guys, these are World War air designated aircraft. Um, these were used during World War. And these are the nose, like the nose pieces that they have. Um, all sorts of different oh, aircraft. Yeah. World War II airplanes. It's all World War. How menacing these things are. So these are all the nose the nose piece, the nose art, as it's called. Some more intricate than others. Hmm, so that's a water plane. Hmm. Oh, so these uh, are owned by the same guy, these two. That's pretty interesting, guys. There's all these airplanes. There's so many of them. And these are real propellers. They're not fake. These wings. It's real. Those well, reels against. Alright guys, so we're here at the Nike store, which is across the street from that museum over there where we just were. I'm going to buy myself some new shoes because I'm in need, so I'll let you know when we get there. Alright guys, I'm here at the Nike store in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Look what I found. These are really comfortable shoes. They're not too expensive, which is a little bit of a plus. They're purple, and so I got new shoes. These shoes are gonna be going on. Oh, there goes the box. On to the next place. Hey guys, I'm to Oshkosh, Wisconsin right now, and I am gonna head head to this little beef, this Oshkosh Bistro for some lunch. Let's see if it's even open. I grabbed a bite to eat and my burger came. Look at that. I'm not a critic or anything and I never will be, but I will be honest, my lunch was terrible. That burger was absolutely deplorable. It was one of the worst burgers I've had in a really long time and I've I've had burgers almost every day. It was just tasteless, like just utterly tasteless. I'll see you guys in Green Bay because that's where I'm headed. 
All right, guys. So this is Lake Winnebago, one of the biggest lakes in Wisconsin. It's 10 miles long, 10 miles wide, and over 25 long. It is actually a lake, not an ocean, not a river, but a lake. All right, guys. Look at that. That is on an overhang of an expressway. A G for Green Bay. I mean, like, really? That's that's how you know you're in Green Bay. All right, guys. Look what we found. Lambeau Field, the home of the Green Bay Packers. 